All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the first Smart Live class. I'm very excited to be here. Uh, I'm Sean. I'm going to be your teacher for today, uh, for the next uh, 45 minutes or so. Um, we've got, I'm sure you guys have, have already noticed, you've got Lane, who's our friendly moderator there to help you guys out um, during the stream. If you guys have uh, questions about anything that I'm talking about, if you miss something and you need me to, uh, to repeat it or anything at all, just put it in the, in the chat and we'll do our best to answer all of your questions or as many as we can. Um, and let's get, let's get started. I thought because it was our first class, um, because so many students have trouble with or uh, have challenges with uh, writing, academic writing, that that's where we would start today, okay? So I thought that we would start with some basics on, of academic writing. Therefore, we're going to start with um, really the, the basics of um, paragraph writing, okay? So if, if anybody is already a, uh, a student of SMART, I'm going to tell you where you can go. And if you're not, then don't worry about it because we're going to uh, share some documents and exercises with you as we go, okay? So let's, let's get started, all right? Here we go. All right, so if you are a student of SMART, we're going to be in English 125 um, today, okay? And we're going to start with writing 1-1, writing a paragraph, okay? I'll just show you that so that you can direct yourself uh, to that lesson, and then uh, I'm going to put something else on my screen, okay? Again, if you're not a student in SMART, don't worry about it. Um, uh, you'll have lots to, to do and say today, okay? All right, so let's start with this. Okay, writing a paragraph. Really, any good essay, any good writing assignment is really dependent on the ability to write a, a strong paragraph. So I wanted to keep it simple today and, and look at that. How do you write a strong paragraph? Okay, so let's start with the most obvious question is, a simple one, what is a paragraph, okay? What is a paragraph? A paragraph is a group of sentences that share one idea. It's not just a bunch of sentences together, but it's really important that these sentences have uh, one unifying idea um, that kind of keeps them related and connected, okay? So this is what we're gonna look at today is, is paragraphs, paragraph structure, and how to write a strong one. Okay, and again, if at any time you guys have questions, um, throw them into the, uh, into the chat and we'll get to you, okay? So most paragraphs, the basic paragraph has the same basic structure as every other paragraph, okay? A three-part structure, and I'm sure some of you have, have seen this before. The basic paragraph structure is topic sentence, supporting sentences, concluding sentence, okay? Basically, every paragraph that you see, every paragraph that you write is going to have this same three-part sequence. And I thought we would start by focusing on the topic sentence. Really, every paragraph starts with the topic sentence. Every strong paragraph stems from a strong topic sentence, okay? So, what is the topic sentence is the question. Um, the topic sentence, usually, but not always, is going to be the first or second sentence in a paragraph, okay? Um, it's important to keep in mind, though, that what we're looking at today is writing and not reading. Now, sometimes in a class, if, if, if you're doing a reading exercise and you're looking for the main idea of a paragraph, it could be really anywhere because an experienced writer can put the main idea or the topic sentence anywhere in the paragraph that they want. Um, but for students, I usually advise them to put the topic sentence in the first one or two sentences of the paragraph, okay? So let's talk about what the topic sentence is, all right? The topic sentence presents the main idea of the paragraph, and it controls the focus and the direction of the paragraph, okay? so. Everything else in the paragraph, all of the other sentences, stem from the main idea 
that is put in, in the topic sentence. So that's why it's really important to be able to have a strong one. Okay, so I can't overestimate the importance of a, of a strong topic sentence. Which brings me to kind of my first question for you guys, okay? And I'm, I'm actually going to remove myself from the screen for a moment so that you can take 30 seconds to maybe a minute and just look at these four sentences and decide which of them do you think would make a strong topic sentence for a paragraph, okay? As you look through it, again, feel free to toss your answer into the chat and, and then we'll discuss it together, okay? So I'm gonna remove myself from the screen Take 30 seconds to a minute, look at each one, and, and decide which of these do you think would make a strong topic sentence for a paragraph. Okay, go ahead. All right, I, lo I love that music, happy music. Okay, so really the only, the only thing I wanted you guys to do is, is look at the four sentences and decide which do you think makes a strong topic sentence. Okay, so let's look at them together. Um, number one, it says uh, Canada shares a border with the United States. Okay, um, in this case, here, let, me, let me go over here. Canada shares a border with the United States. Now, this is not a strong topic sentence. Now, let me tell you why. This is a very common mistake that students make uh, writing a topic sentence like this. The problem with this topic sentence is that it is too narrow, okay? So when I say it's too narrow, it means it's, it's too specific. Now, in this case, Canada shares a border with the United States. That is uh, a fact, okay? So a key thing to remember when it comes to uh, topic sentences and paragraph writing is a topic sentence should never be a fact. Because the main idea of the topic sentence, it, the topic sentence has to contain something that your supporting sentences will develop. Okay, now if you have a fact as the main idea, there's really nothing there for the supporting sentences to add to it. So that's why you, you can't have it too narrow. No facts at the topic sentence. As I said here, it needs an idea. Some, some kind of feeling, some kind of opinion or something like that that you can expand on and develop. And we'll talk more about how to develop that a little bit later, okay? So number one, um, not a good topic sentence, it's too narrow. How about number two? Studying is difficult. All right, now some of you may agree with this. Uh, sentence but again this is not a great topic sentence either and this is a mistake for the opposite reason as the first one in this case the sentence is too broad now what I mean by that is that it's it's too big of an idea to really be uh, dealt with in a single paragraph there's it's not specific enough so a good topic sentence has to be somewhere between being uh, too narrow and too broad. You want it to be specific, but not too specific that it's a fact. So it's a very delicate kind of balance that you have to uh, hit there with a good topic sentence. Now in this case, how can you make it more specific? 
um, you have to ask things like what and who. So studying is difficult. Uh, studying what, for example, or uh, difficult for whom? Who finds studying difficult? Okay, so again, number two, not a good topic sentence, but a very, uh, again, a common mistake that students make uh, in their writing. So let's look at number three. Hopefully we'll, we'll do better with that one. So why traditional values are disappearing? So this is also not a very good topic sentence. I, I, I'm, it, it, this has been kind of a trick question, actually. I think I'm trying to trick you a little bit. Um, why traditional values are disappearing is not a good topic sentence because it's just an incomplete sentence. It's grammatically incomplete. So not only do you need your idea to be not too broad or too narrow, but you have to make sure that your sentence um, is grammatically correct. And in this case, this is what we call a sentence fragment, which again, we'll deal with uh, in another lesson more specifically. But the problem here is that you've got a question word at the beginning of this, of this clause. There you've got a, uh, your subject and your verb, but the subject and verb are not uh, inverted. So this is not a question because you see there's a, a period there too. So it looks like a question, but it's, it's not quite. It's actually what we call a noun clause, grammatically incomplete and, and therefore not a good topic sentence. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I, so I am kind of tricking you as, as people are kind of noticing in the, in the chat over there. So let's look at number four. I would like to discuss in this paragraph the growing concern about air pollution in my city. Now, it, this one's, I mean, it looks better, right, than, than the other ones, but it's still problematic. It's still not a good topic sentence. And here's why. What you don't want to do in, in academic writing, you don't want to announce your topic and you don't want to announce your intentions. So little phrases like, I would like to discuss, um, you don't want to start a sentence with that. Don't announce what you're going to talk about and don't refer to yourself as well. Words like I or me or my, you, typically in academic writing you want to avoid that kind of stuff, okay? Also, in this paragraph, try not to refer to the actual paragraph or, or essay itself, right? Now, it's important to remember that different things for different situations, so if you have a presentation to give in class, this type of sentence would be fine, right? If you're, if you're speaking in front of a group of people or in a classroom or, or something like that and you say, today I would like to discuss uh, air pollution in my city, that's fine. But for writing, um, it's, it's not great, okay? So yes, I kind of try to trick you. All of these four sentences are very common problems that students have with, um, with topic sentences. So, the question is, what is a good topic sentence? A good topic sentence clearly introduces the topic of the paragraph, and it makes a point about the topic, as we said. So it has to have some kind of idea in there, okay? And it has to make a statement that's not too broad and not too narrow, so it's right in the middle, as we said. Also, you want a good topic sentence to, to give the reader an idea of the type of paragraph that they're going to read. Is it going to be uh, opinion or description or narration? Is it going to tell a story? Is it going to explain cause and effect? The reader should get an idea of that from your topic sentence, okay? Um, so let's look at some good ones, okay? So how do, we, how do we fix them? How do we make them better? Number one, Canada shares a border with the United States. So that's a fact, it's too narrow. How do we expand it and make it more interesting? Well, here's my uh, revised version here, okay? Canadian culture has been heavily influenced by its relationship and proximity to the United States. A little fancy, because I should move to the side here a little bit, <laughs> right? But in this case, it now has uh, an idea that can be developed and explained a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, so that's definitely an improvement on the first one. How about the second one? Studying is difficult. As we said, this is too broad. There's uh, not enough information in here to, to really focus it for the paragraph. So, how do you fix it? 
I said, studying two languages at once can be very challenging. Um, now you're getting a little bit more specific about what it is you're studying, and therefore you've got a, a clearer idea of, of what you can write about in the paragraph. Okay? What about the second one, or the third one, rather? Why traditional values are disappearing? Well, problems like this, it's kind of an easy fix because you just have to make it a complete sentence, okay? So there are several reasons why traditional values are disappearing. Just keep it simple, put a there are three reasons at the beginning and now you've got a complete sentence and you're, and you're fine, okay? Obviously this paragraph will be about um, causes and effects. And how about one more and then I'm gonna get you guys to do, do some work here, okay? So I would like to discuss in this paragraph the growing concern about air pollution. We said don't announce your topic, just get on with it, uh, make your point in your paragraph, and you've got this. Air pollution is a growing concern in my country. Actually, I should have said city there. That's my, that's my little mistake there, but that's fine. Okay, so now you're no longer announcing your topic. Um, it's a little bit more focused, and it's a better topic sentence. So again, this is the beginning of being able to write a good a good paragraph or multiple paragraphs in a, in a longer uh, composition like an essay or something like that okay so with that I would like you guys to do some work now with me or for me I should say okay so um, if Lane moderator could please put uh, the link to the exercise in the in the chat so that everybody can can get it I'm putting a or Lane's gonna put a, a link in here for everybody to to follow in the chat and it will bring you to to this exercise here or again if you're already in smart you can just go to writing one one and go right into the exercise um, up here and that will take you to the exercise as well so it's it's the same we have, we have it in the chat, we're good to go? Yeah? Okay, so when you open it up, you won't be able to type on this copy, on what you see, so you've got to go into File and make a copy. Okay, make a copy so that you can write your answers on there, just like that. And then you'll own it and you can, you can write whatever you want on, on that copy. This, one is, this one's mine. Okay. So when you open it up, you'll see probably about 10 sentences, and all of them are topic sentences. Some of them are strong, and some of them are, uh, are, are weak, could be, could be better, could be improved upon. All right, so your job now, and again, I'm going to remove myself from the screen and put on some more of that happy music to help you work. I would like you to look at each of these sentences, and now that we've discussed the strong and the weak topic sentences, I'd like you to go through and just identify which of these are good topic sentences and which of them are weak or need improvement and why. Okay, so number letter A, we'll start with that one. We'll do one together, okay? Communication is important. Now, while this is true, a lot very similar to the, the studying is difficult, it's too, it's too broad uh, of a sentence. There's too much to say about communication in one paragraph, so you have to get more specific. So I would say this one whoop, simply is just too broad. And that's all you have to do right now. Just go through. If it's weak, tell me why. And if it's strong, you can just put correct or put a happy face or a unicorn or whatever you like next to it to indicate that it's, that it's good, okay? And again, while you're doing that, feel free to, to put your answers in the chat and Lane will put some of your answers up here on the screen, and then we'll discuss them together um, as a big group. Okay, so get to work on that. Take two or three minutes and go through and, and identify the strong and the weak topic sentences, and then we'll go over it together.
All right, everybody. Um, let's let's go over some of these together. All right. Um, I see some of your answers have been put into the document here. Let's let's talk about them together. Um, A, we already did. Okay. B, one of my most wonderful childhood memories. Now uh, we got an answer in there from Marissa, but it looks like it might be number for number one. I'm not I'm not sure, but that's okay. Um, thanks, Marissa, for the answer. Um, if you said it's definitely a it's a weak topic sentence, you are definitely uh, correct. I would say B. The problem with this one is that it is incomplete. Okay, so I'm going to put that. Well, I'm going to remove that. And here, I'm going to say incomplete. All right. One of my most wonderful childhood memories. Um, this is just a subject with a prepositional phrase next to it, and it's an incomplete sentence, okay? So that's not, not a good topic sentence. All right, what about C? This paragraph is about the increasing divorce rate. Justin Davis gave us an answer. Thank you, Justin. Uh, the, and you're correct. It says announcing the topic. You're absolutely right. Good. You don't want to announce your topic or intentions. Good, I'll even put an exclamation point there. Awesome, okay. What about D? Um, also, I should say guys, while I'm going through these, if you have any questions about why or, or anything that I'm saying, again, pop them in the, into the chat and I will um, try to answer as many of your questions as I can. So D, Parents do not need to spend money in order to show they love their children. So Claudia says, it's good. Blue guitar, I think it's a fact. Uh, most appropriate sentence is D. So Marissa, I think that means you like you like D. And I think um, I think you're right. I think Claudia, you're you're right too. Um, I wish I wish this was a fact. Um, blue guitar 77 but unfortunately it's not you could you could argue with it some people could say that um, spending money is a good way of, of showing your children you love them I, I certainly disagree with that statement but uh, um, in this case I'm gonna say this is a good topic sentence lots to discuss in this paragraph I think it's a, a, a strong statement let's do a couple more here E Three reasons to study a language abroad. Muhammad says it's good in the supporting sentences. We will discuss them. Now it's a good, this is a good topic. Three reasons to study a language abroad. Definitely a lot to, to discuss and you could put the three reasons in the, top, in, the, in the paragraph. But it's not a good topic sentence because it's incomplete. All right, E is incomplete. And I think it's incomplete because there's no, there's no verb there, right? It's missing a verb. Three reasons to study a language abroad. Um, good topic, but there's no verb, and every sentence needs a verb in order to be complete. So we we're going to have to fix that one up. All right, and we've got a few more. No answers here, but that's, that's okay. We'll just go over them uh, quickly. F, a difficult experience while traveling taught me the importance of family. Now, in this case, this is a good topic sentence. It's good because um, it has a clear topic, difficult experience. There's your topic there. And then taught me the importance of family. That's a, an idea that you can explore. And I know by reading that sentence that you're going to be telling me a, a story, a narrative. Therefore, it's a, it's a, good, it's a good topic sentence. Um, any answers for G? Nothing for G? Okay. Um, technology is changing so fast. In this case, I would say too, too broad. Because technology is changing so fast. I mean, it, it is true, but it's still such a broad, quest, uh, a broad topic that you really wouldn't be able to, to write very well about that in one paragraph. There's so much technology out there. And... Um, changing so fast is, is, is just not specific enough. Okay, so you want to narrow that down a little bit. Uh, H, my daughter was born in the summer of 2010. All right. I think, we don't have any answers coming in for that one. 
So I'll give it to you. I would say that that is uh, too narrow. Okay, it's a, it's a fact. My daughter was born in the summer of 2010. Um, it's kind of like you have to ask, so what, right? Tell me something about the experience or, or what else can you write about in the paragraph? There's really nothing to, to say there, okay? What about I? I would like to discuss how poverty affects education. Okay. And again, Justin Davis, he's, Justin Davis is really good at, uh, at identifying when you're announcing the topic because you, you were right again, Justin. Thanks for that. I, you're, you're correct that I would like to discuss is really not appropriate for um, academic writing. So you would have to change that. Okay, and oh, I see we've got one here coming in from Claudia. I think that one came in just a little bit too late. I'm just going to take that one out because we've discussed that H is, is too narrow. There's, I know there's a, a bit of a, a time delay here. Um, how about J, the last one? In some ways, friends can be more important than family. Now, I'm going to give you the answer for this one. I think... Uh, this one's good, okay? It's not a fact. Um, you could argue against this, and you could definitely write a pretty, a pretty good paragraph on this, on this topic, kind of an opinion-based paragraph, giving reasons how friends can be more important than family. Okay, so how are we doing? Okay, we're good for time. Now, I'm gonna put you guys to work again. Now, this is the, maybe the hard part. Now that we've looked at all of these sentences and decided which ones are weak, and which ones are strong, now I'd like you guys to take, we'll say five minutes to do as much as you can. I would like you to fix the topic sentences that are weak and rewrite them with a topic sentence that you think is now um, strong enough to, to be used to develop a good paragraph. So number, or letter A, communication is important. You have to rewrite that sentence so it's not too broad. So how can you fix it? So. I'll give you an example for A. I would say um, communication is important for a marriage to work. Okay, communication is important for a marriage to work. Now it's a little bit more specific. It's talking about communication um, in a marriage between a husband and wife and why that would be important for um, the marriage to to last and to be successful okay so that's the freebie I'm giving you the answer for a um, that means I would like you to do B C E G H and I okay now do as many as you can I'll give you five minutes I'll turn the happy music back on and make myself disappear from the screen as you go um, feel free to throw your new amazing topic sentences into the chat and we'll put them up here on the on the screen and then I'll comment on them um, and we'll, we'll look at them together okay all right guys get to work fix those topic sentences up and uh, I'll be back Thank you.
Alright everybody, I'm back. I see some answers in there. That's good. Let's um, let's try to go over some of this stuff. Time is time is flying by here. Um, so letter A, I given an answer and it looks like Mohammed uh, added another answer there too. Cool. Thanks. Thanks Mohammed. Says communication is important for us to prevent from misunderstanding that happened among us. I think that's that's pretty good. It's definitely an improvement on the first one because it's more specific um, I would just change something there now what you're saying just the grammar is a little bit off and I would say communication is important um, for us to prevent and I think I actually saw somebody mentioned it in the in the chat I would just say to prevent misunderstandings just keep it kinda simple like that communication is important for us to prevent misunderstandings and there you go. That's that's a great um, that's a great topic sentence. So thanks, Mohammed, for that. Um, looks like B, another one from Justin Davis. Um, he took the incomplete sentence and fixed it up, and he says summer vacation was one of my most wonderful childhood memories. Uh, nailed it. Yeah, that's awesome. And now you've got a, a complete sentence there uh, with a subject and a verb. It's got an idea. It's going to be a narrative. You can give lots of details and everything. It's it's great. Okay, did I get anything for C? C is this paragraph is about the increasing divorce rate. Now when it comes to fixing these types of sentences, you just really have to remove the, the part that announces the, the topic, right? So um, did we get anything from that? No? Okay. I'll just give an answer here. I would say something like the increasing divorce rate. has many effects on society something like that there the increasing divorce rate has many effects on society keep it simple but again now you've got you still have a complete sentence you've got an idea in there and it's a little bit more focused too if you just say this paragraph is about the increasing divorce rate um, we don't know if you're talking about the causes of it the effects of it or anything like that so now it's it's much clearer and more focused all right, what about E? Three reasons to study a language abroad. Um, coming in from Muhammad, I think, yeah, good. Yeah, so he, maybe he took my advice from, from earlier and kept it simple and, again, nailed it there. He said there are three reasons why you should study a language abroad. I would just change that one, that G, to an S there, right? Three reasons. I hear a sentence coming in. Um, let me see. So the one from um, from Gerald maybe coming in. It says teen pregnancy may be prevented by improved education. Where is – which one's that? Hmm? It's not related to the question. It's a question. It's not is this, oh, is this a good one? Oh, I see. Okay. So is this a good topic sentence? Teen pregnancy may be prevented by improved education. Um, yes. I think that's a great topic sentence um, and, lots, and lots to write about in the paragraph. So yeah, to, to Gerald there, I would say definitely that is a good topic sentence. All right. Um, what about G? Do we get anything for G? Technology is changing so fast. Again, it's too broad. Um, what could you say about technology changing so fast? How about, I'll just copy this, put it down here. Oops. Uh, technology is changing so fast that, uh, what could you say? The older generation has trouble keeping up with advancements. Yeah, sorry to the any any older people <laughs> watching. Uh, technology is changing so fast that the older generation has trouble keeping up with advancements. 
Um, now you've just got something a little bit more specific. Um, H, anything come in for H? No? Um, okay. My daughter was born in the summer of 2010. I would, again, say something meaningful about it, Say, uh, give some kind of idea about it. So how about um, my daughter's my daughter's birth was the best day of my life. We'll keep it simple, okay? Um, my daughter's birth was the best day of my life. And then I, coming in from Justin, oh yeah, sorry, he said that it was announcing the topic. I would like to discuss poverty, how poverty affects education. Um, again, keep this one simple and say there are many ways poverty affects education just like that okay and now you've got some strong topic sentences all right so um, that basically wraps it up 45 minutes has just flown by um, and I want to thank everybody for for joining um, we'll continue on with more academic writing next week and uh, we're gonna try to get a schedule out soon too so people can know what what lessons are coming up and I would also um, appreciate it if, if anybody has questions or comments or anything relating to writing or grammar or anything like that you can put it in the chat or put it in the comments uh, from this video and we'll take a look at them and try to uh, answer some of your questions in the next in the next lesson all right so once again thanks for Thanks for tuning in, and um, I guess we'll we'll see you we'll see you next time on the on a live class. All right, see you later.